The GARC is the Global Autonomous Reconnaissance Craft, GARC for uh, short. It is produced by Black Sea Technologies uh, on behalf of the Navy. It fits within the small unmanned surface vessel category of USVs. Uh, it is a uh, in, currently in high rate production uh, for the Navy. We're delivering 32 a month, uh, so we are at scale. Uh, it is a very versatile uh, USV. Uh, it's got a range of 600 miles plus. It's got a 200 uh, horsepower diesel engine, and it is an open architecture. So if you think of a payload, we can integrate it. We want this to be a multi-mission craft. So everything from ISR to clandestine infiltration and exfiltration, all the way up to kinetic uh, operations. It is low cost. It is a trittable. So if you have them at scale uh, in the theater and you lose one, it's not going to uh, end the day. And they're really capable and you can move them around quite a bit. So it just gives the operational commanders a lot of versatility. But lots of testing. So on both coasts, the Navy and various different organizations are putting these testing out tactics and procedures as well as command and control. So there's a large exercise in San Diego right now where integrating a high number of these vessels onto Navy ships as well. During the demonstration, we have a little bit of tight water space here, but our operators will take it off the dock using a hand controller. That is how we use it for, you know, near coast or coming up to a ship for launch and recovery or to a dock. And then obviously once that is beyond line of sight, we have, uh, you know, satellite communications that we've been able to navigate the vessel. The vessel can operate autonomously, again, up, up beyond 600 miles away. So today you'll see some of the high speed maneuvers that the vessel can do, how versatile it is, uh, and just get a sense of how intuitive the technology is. So our intent is that customers like the Navy or SOF can, can learn the system very quickly. And so you'll get a sense of that today as well. Personally, I spent a career in special operations and to be able to take emerging technology like this and bring it to the warfighter, uh, obviously the Navy has different missions than special operations may have. So being able to, again, be versatile to many customers is what our, we strive to do.